and we should be live. Let me just make sure everything's all good on my end. Make sure all my volumes are all good and all that sort of stuff. There we go, there's my voice. Right. Hello everyone, my name is Richie and welcome to tonight's live stream on Long Island Railroad. Uh, it's American week this week and uh, well, obviously, I did say last week if I wasn't to have, if I didn't get five circle, then um, then I was going to do a run on this, depending on whether they announced it, which they did. They announced it in the roadmap that we're getting Long Island Railroad 2.0, which I'm very excited for. I have had the camera here for the last 10 minutes whilst I've been setting up and making a cup of tea and whatnot, and I'm not seeing a single train, but they said in the 2.0 we should see at least 36 trains going through Jamaica per hour. So. How is everyone doing? We've got in the chat, we've got Train Boy. Hello, how are you doing? Good evening, happy Sunday. We've got Andy, how are you doing? Hello, uh, Ridgie, Ridgie Wales. Uh, I, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, mate. Uh, where are you? I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm here. How is everyone doing? How is everyone's weekend? How's everyone's week been? Have people been up to anything interesting? We're going to start. Where should we start? Should we start in New York Penn or Hicksville or Hempstead or where? Where are we wanting to start? Uh, I'm just going to shut this too, so that people can't listen to me. And I'm also going to lock my front door, because that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Lock my front door. Oh. Cool. All right. Should have done it before and cool right so where are we starting uh, random username 2004 hello how are you doing welcome to the stream right let me <coughs> let me set up 181 services that's going to change to something stupid like 700 uh we're going to jump in i think we're going to do you know what we're going to start we're going to do a midday run there we go, we'll do that one. We'll just do that one for now. Sounds good to me. Let's turn that down a little bit. Cool, we've got nine people watching. Hope you're all doing well. Oh no, it's my mother-in-law. Oh dear. <laughs> um, how is the sound for everyone? Is everything all good? Right, let's get set up. Let's get the master key in. Put that into forward. Uh, let's unlock the doors and charge the brakes. Uh, I'm a very big fan of this route. I do like Long Island Railroad, and I'm glad that it's getting an overhaul. Uh, I'll tell you how, who else likes uh, likes this route. Uh, my missus, she absolutely loves this route. Uh, and we've been having discussions today about her doing a video um, on the new version when it comes out. Make a stream about formation designer making wacky formations. Do you know what? To be fair, that was going to be my plan today. But I did, I've done. I've recorded a first look video that's coming out tomorrow for Formation Designer, and it's a little bit crashy. So on PlayStation, you can't really, you can't stream. If like your game crashes during the stream, it ends the stream, and that's a bit inconvenient. So I thought just to be safe, we'll you know stick it to a route that's kind of you know relevant. Uh, crazy, how you doing? Good evening. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm just going to put in the Discord. That we're live uh, because we can and we're also going to get them doors shut um, uh, oh no, I won't do that. right next stop is M M Manola is that how you say that right let's get that up to 50 uh, oh did I charge my brakes no I don't think I did did I uh, let me charge them fully, because I've not done that. Yeah, cool, right there, fully charged. And we should be able to get going now. Uh, yeah, so Formation Designer, I was going to do a stream on it, but like I said, when I did the New York Trenton stream a couple of weeks ago, that the, it actually crashed on me and it, it ended the whole stream, and it was just chaos. So I thought, just to be safe and to keep a stream running, um, I'll just stick it on this route, which is relevant. Um, bear with me one second. I'm just going to quickly sort out the uh, the Discord link so that if anyone new wants to join the Discord, they certainly can do. 
Uh, we've got 10 people watching. Hope you're all doing wonderful on this fine Sunday evening. Uh, yeah, I'm not speeding or anything. So what are people's opinions on this route? Do people like uh, Long Island Railroad? And do you like, do you like the fact that it's going to be getting an update very soon? Cool, let me pin that if I can in a minute. Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, I'm not a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, if, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm doing good. That's good, crazy. Good to hear. You can't do much with formation design on uh, PlayStation. It's a bit slow. Uh, when I do this class 710, it spawns the whole unit. Um, I mean, when I when I did the so the video that's coming out tomorrow, I thought it was actually quite a good bit of fun. Um, it's just a bit hard to get your head round. Um, but if it was a bit more stable, on I mean, it weren't very stable on PC. It kept I was watching that train sim guy, and it kept crashing. So you know, it'd be a bit inconvenient if mine kept crashing. We've got 15 people watching. Hope you're all doing well. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch. In a ditch, fell in a. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, um, apparently, Gordon has fallen into a ditch. I'm assuming you mean Gordon as in the one from. Uh, who's it? What's it called now? Um, what's it blowing called now? Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, let me put it in the Discord as well that we're live, and I can put that onto Coast. Yeah, I'm quite a big. I am quite a fan of this route. I think it's actually quite uh, quite a good route. Uh, Hey, that's everyone. Oh, so I put a link to it last time. Yeah, I did. I think I did. Hey, everyone. Um, life. Yeah. So. Let me just get the link for the stream, and then we'll be all good. Lovely stuff. Send now, yeah. Keeps telling me off. Train spotter from Taranga hates Long Island Railroad. Um, I've seen some of his stuff. He he he, he seems to hate trains in world, but doesn't at the same time. I have seen some of his stuff, but I, I, pay, I tend to not pay attention to what he's uh to what he has to say. I mean, I like some of his videos and I, I agree with some of the things he's, he has to say. But, um, but yeah, no, uh, I've, 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 seen, I've seen some of his stuff. Hello, someone like you. How are you doing? Good evening. Hope you're doing well on this fine Sunday evening. Hello, West Midlands Transport Hub. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I did see that you've uh, not long uploaded a video. You've uh, uploaded a video at uh, trains at Kings Norton. Uh, if you're a Midlands-based person and you like train spotting, uh, check out West Midlands Transport Hub. He does a lot of sort of like trains at videos in and around Birmingham. Uh, got some good stuff, so go and go and check him out. He's trying to get to 1.5k subscribers. Uh, I watch Train Spotter from Taranga just to see his opinions. I watch a lot of his uh, his route rev route reviews. I think they're quite informative. They help me decide like some things to do with routes, um, but. Uh, I've often thought about doing maybe some route reviews as well because a lot of people have asked me like oh, what do you think of this route and what do you think of that route um, gosh my toilet just flushed that was loud uh, I'm alright what about you I'm good I'm good thank you mate I'm uh, I'm not doing too bad I'm uh, just having a we're going to be having a leisurely drive on Long Island Railroad and um, hope I want to talk about Long Island Railroad 2.0 as well see what people's opinions are on it Charlie how you doing what stations can you find the sandwich dioramas on the Lon London Overground Suffragette line I'm not too sure I think they might be I, I think I've seen one or two of them at Barking because they're, they're at the end of Barking uh, Barking Riverside even sorry Uh, tra train spotter from Taranga hates Oakfield subdivision, but I like it. I don't have an opinion on it because I've not actually been on that route. I've not got that route. I've never played it. Um, I, I, I don't think I would enjoy it because it's a Canadian route and it's freight. So, I mean, a Canadian route would be quite cool, but um, yeah, don't think, don't think a, uh, a freight route is my thing. Hold on, let me make sure I stop. I'm going way too fast here.
Yeah, I mean, I like his reviews. Yeah, they're not too bad. Trains what uh, guy enjoys the game, but what he doesn't enjoy is when devs get sloppy and lazy, which results in unfinished products. I mean, that's very much I agree with. That's why I'm not bought Five Circle yet. Um, like I, I was gonna get Five Circle on day one, and just simply because it wasn't finished, and they even admitted that in the preview that it wasn't finished. I thought, well, I'm not touching this until it gets an update, and I thought it was gonna get one in the last week, and it didn't. Uh, uh, so how are you liking the new house? I love it. I love the new house. It's fantastic. Uh, we're settling in slowly now. We've got 17 people watching as well. Uh, I've just noticed that it's just ticked over to 17. So that's awesome to see. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Massively appreciated. Um, I need to make sure I'm focusing on me stop stopping pattern here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the new house actually. Like I say, we're just settling in now. We've um, we've got most things unpacked. Uh, I met my neighbour um, earlier on. Actually, he's he's literally just arrived back. He's a he's a reti retired bloke that, li that lives next door to us, and uh, we were having a chat about his bike. He's a keen um, uh, keen biker, so we were having a chat about that. Um, also, hi. I'm doing quite I'm doing quite all right. I hope you too. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, someone like you. Um, we're having a very chilled out day. I'm playing NIMBY Rails at the minute. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Um, I didn't fully have a proper delve into that because I've been moving since you last mentioned it. Um, but I, I am meaning to have a look at that and I'm going to hopefully uh, get it once I get a PC. I'm going on a drive. I will come back. All right, catching a bit, Andy. What station names can you find them at? Uh, like I said, Charlie, I'm not too sure. Uh, so back in Riverside possibly. Um, does anyone know what stations you can find the sandwich dioramas at in the um, on the suffragette line? What do you think the Just Trains route will be? I think I have an inkling of what it is uh, and I'll come back to it once I've caught up with the chat. Remind me if I don't, don't, don't come on to it in 10 minutes time. Where I just built my city tram network and then expanded it to how I would like it. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Um, we off. We we do like a good tram network, don't we, crazy? Uh, Richard, thank you for joining my, uh, joining my server. You're very welcome. I quite like your server. I like the counting page. Um, yeah, I'm 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 keen for like I'm not really active on Discord like as much as I want to be, just because work and stuff gets in the way. Um, but uh, oh, have we lost power? Okay, now we've got power. Next stop is Jamaica, by the way. Um, yeah, so it's, I quite, quite like your server. Um, but if I join loads of them, I, I, I just won't be very active. Not because I, I don't want to be, just because I'm very busy. And, you know, YouTube's very much a, on the back foot, so um, so Discord is as well. I do try and prioritise YouTube where I can, but obviously I've got work and whatever else to be getting on with. Rip for the overshooting. Yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> we, don't, uh, we don't dwell on that. Uh, I need to slow down. I'm going way too fast very hard to stop perfectly and, do, and talk to chat as well. It also doesn't help that my telly's really far away from me, uh, from a set of, you know. Are you going to buy, uh, buy the Semmering DLC? I'm not too sure, Freak. Um, I'm on the fence because, like, <laughs> the thing is, I, I tend to only get British routes on day one. I very rarely get, uh, I very rarely get like European routes on day one. Um, Semmering Barn does look quite interesting and the fact that it's got like almost 250 services I am thinking about it. Is anyone else thinking about getting Semmering Barn? It has ten, uh, ten tra a tram li tra it has ten tram lines in my main city and two in a different town close by. Hey lovely stuff very uh, very nice public transport network you got there very very sustainable. Most of my tram routes I have very 10 minutes, it, yep 10 minutes and every 5 minutes and some every 20 minutes. Hey, that sounds very good. Sounds very good indeed. Uh, by the way, thank you for joining my ser server and subscribing to, uh, subscribing to you. No problem, West Midlands Transport uh, Transport Hub. Um, like I said, I like some of your stuff. We've got 20 people watching as well, wow. Got a lot of people in here. Um, but yeah, no, I, I like some of your stuff and some of your trains that. Because obviously, I, I'm from Birmingham originally. Uh, I moved, I've moved up north, so it's nice to see you know, I occasionally look back at, vid I'll look back at some videos 
um, of uh, of the Cross City line and stuff because it gives me a sense of nostalgia. Um, you know, considering that I need, oh, I also need to slow down a little bit. I'm going a bit too fast here. Got a got a red light coming up. Don't fancy spadding through that. Uh, what time can you find passengers eating sandwiches? Uh, honestly, I don't know, Charlie. Yesterday I booted up Train Sim Classic and played on the... I don't know how to pronounce that route. Uh, made by Aerosoft, which is a fictional German route. Um, and the amount, of the amount of detail is shocking. Aerosoft? As in, THE Aerosoft? They made a, they made a Train Sim Classic route. I've already pre-ordered it on, stream, uh, on Steam. Hey, nice one, Tom. Um, new, uh, new name in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the stream, and hope you're having a good old weekend. It's the first bit of AI we've seen on the route in this older version. I'm hoping that improves on the new version. I mean, what, we're supposed to get, like, 700 services, something stupid like that? I'm very excited for that route. Hope it delivers. The rolling stock looks really good. Um, I am on the fence with it, to be fair. Um... Do you know what? My thing is though, £30 is a lot of money, and in my mind it looks good, but am I going to get bored of the twisty turny section and not play it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, that's the thing I've got to think about, am I, can I justify playing, can I justify paying £30 for something I'm not going to play very often? One second, I'm just drinking my tea. Do you know when you forget about a cup of tea and it goes a bit like lukewarm and you have to kind of neck it? Right. There we go. One cup of tea successfully necked. Uh, one tram line has 102 stops total, 51 each direction. See, that's... That sounds like a lot, but for a tram line, that's pretty standard, isn't it? Hashtag get Richie to 500. Yes, yes, very, very much so. If you're if you're new here and you like what you see, fancy subscribing. We're uh, we're on the on the road to hitting 500 subscribers, 500 subscribers, which is absolutely insane to think about. Um, I, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm not all about the numbers, and I'm not like you know, I wouldn't I won't be upset if. If we didn't get there tonight or anything like that, but honestly, if, if any sing, every single person that subscribed, I appreciate. It's like you know, each subscriber is a person at the end of the day. So uh, every single one of you, I've, I've got so much so much respect and thanks for you all. Um, but yeah, 500. It's not far, and I've said on the Discord as well. I'll do a beard reveal at <laughs> 500. Uh, just something silly, you know. Just just you can see a few beard hairs at 500 subscribers. <laughs> It's quite insane to think about because I, I think initially when when I started the channel I thought ah oh, 500 would be nice by like my birthday which is like the end of next month so the fact that we're going to hit that so soon it's really nice to think about. <laughs> Excited for Long Island Railroad commuter I am indeed that's why I've played uh, played this. I'm a bit upset that PlayStation and Xbox users won't get a discounted price for it. It kind of seems a bit a bit upsetting that. Um, that you know that steam and whatever getting up to upwards of 20 percent off and then us console players are not getting anything so that's a little bit uh, a little bit annoying but to be fair what they're giving us you know they're completely overhauling the route we're getting a new loco and whatever else it's going to be it's basically a new route anyway so maybe it would have even been nice to have just 10 percent off but i don't think that's going to be the case I have no clue which Aerosoft it is, but it looks like a different one because they made only DLC for aviation games and that one uh, that one TSC route. Oh, I see, right, okay. Um, that's fine. Oh, I need to slow down a little bit. I was going to say because Aerosoft, like the Aerosoft, they make. They've made some games. I can't think what they've made actually, but I know that they're a proper gaming developer. Uh, gaming developer. <laughs> I'm the same with uh, with you, Richie. I tend to buy UK routes when they first come out. But, um, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, I'm very much a keen UK rail fan. Um, so, but then again, there has been some American routes I've got on day one, and a few uh, European routes I've got on day one. So, like for example, other than you know, 
the TSW3 and TSW4 core routes because they don't count. Um, like I bought Dresden Chemnitz on day one because I, I just like the sound of a German diesel. Um, and I also got Harlem Line on day one. I think, yeah, I got Harlem Line on day one. Um, what else did I get? I think I bought New York Trenton on day one as well, which was a bit of a mistake. So that's the thing. So like New York Trenton was one I got on day one and I regretted it a little bit until it got updated six months later. So this is the thing. I'm very cautious of what I, uh, of what I spend. Uh, at least in my area where I live and other cities uh, close by, even in Berlin, the average amount of stops per tram is maybe 30. Oh, okay. I thought that would have been a bit more uh, in big cities because I think there is... I mean, it seems like there's loads of stops because they're pretty much on every street, aren't they? Gelatin, hi, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Sorry, it's, it took me a little bit of a while to get around to your comment. Um, just uh, focusing on trying to not spad through uh, Jamaica and also read the chat. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday evening. Dylan, excited for the M9s and reworked route, which Port Washington and Grand Central were also added. Yeah, so what I, when I watched the roadmap stream, they did say that they were going to add, that, that one of the options was the Port Washington branch. But I think, I think for sake of like variety, it made sense to do it to, uh, made sense to do it to Long Beach and also it just looked a bit better. So, uh, so I mean, I, I'm not complaining with the offering we're getting. Um, I think it also meant that they could boost the timetable a bit because you can have Babylon services, I think, something like that. Um, not too sure. I've not done too much research into it yet, but I will be doing. Uh, and also Grand Central wasn't in the route. In, it's still it's still going to be era appropriate, just with a boosted up timetable. <clears throat> right. Come on. It's taken us a while to get to the end of this platform. Aerosoft is more of a publisher for games. Oh, I see. <clears throat> right, let's get that stop there. Cool. Most of my routes are UK, but I've got one German route. See, I've got a lot of German routes, and I think I've got most of... I think I've got most of the American passenger routes as well. I just don't have the freight ones. I like New York Trenton even with its issues. See, I did as well. Um, I, well... I like, okay, so I like New York Trenton when it came out because it was cool that they could, that we could use the Acela and whatever else because I got it as part of the Acela bundle so you could, you were able to get the root, the Acela for like, for like 40 quid or something stupid like that. So, um, so it was like you got the root and the Loco DLC for like, like 25% off each. Um, one second, some. Someone's out, someone's playing music outside. I'm a right window, uh, what do you call it? A window uh, curtain twitcher. I, I only really get UK routes on day one. Might get the updated L Long Island Railroad. Not too sure, sure yet. I think you should get the Long Island Railroad updated because it's well, it's a it's a good route as it is. So the fact that we're getting the M9s and we're getting an update and stuff, it's going to be quite nice. Uh, see you later, random username. Hope you hope you have a fantastic evening. Again, then again, Berlin tram routes are only in like East Berlin and partially West Berlin, but only routes that are pretty new. Ah, I see. Right, okay. I adore the sound of this train. It, it's quite a cool sounding train, especially when it comes to when it comes to a stop. It's got that sort of like three two three esque traction motor, hasn't it? I assume you're not using a rail driver. Have you considered using one? The only disadvantage is that they're expensive. So I have looked at rail drivers, but I'm playing on PlayStation. Um, so I don't think you can get rail drivers that are compatible with PlayStation yet. And if you can, if you can, they're quite expensive. Um, I'm both my doors locked. Yeah, cool. Um, but I have thought about getting a rail driver. Uh, like I said, they are quite expensive. They're upwards about three, four hundred pounds. And that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot to pay for a piece of equipment that I'd only use for one game. Should I get an American route? Yeah, I think I think you should if you like the look of it. What what do you sort of look like in an American route? Do you like passenger or freight? Uh, passenger or freight? Yeah, the US passenger bundle. Yeah, American routes are all right usually. Yeah, they're not too bad. The the passenger ones. 
Um, if you're going to get a passenger route, I would recommend. Hmm, that's a, mm, which one would I recommend? That's a good question. I mean, get Long Long Island Railroad when it comes out. Yeah, that's definitely a shout. Um, Boston Sprint is a good one. Harlem Line's not too bad either. Um, I'm trying to think what I think that's it really for passenger in it. Peninsula Corridor. That's a, that's a solid route. That that's a really good route. I wonder if they'll update that. My favourite US route right now is Harlem Line. Short but busy. Short but busy. Yeah, Harlem Line's a really good route actually. Um, just a shame that half of it's like like you know you got that sort of tunnel section from Grand Central is a bit boring. I'm driving three two three two four one right now. Rest in peace to them. I do certainly want to get on a get on a three two three two three before they get uh, taken out of service. Um, I just don't plan to be in the Midlands for a few for a few months. I went to Berlin on Friday for a few hours at the worst time. A city on a Friday is a terrible idea. It's the same like that in Leeds. You try and get anywhere around Leeds on, on Friday rush hour, it's an absolute pain. I wish they worked on the P, uh, on the PS. I use one on the PC, and it makes me feel it makes it feel much more realistic. I have I have had a look at them, and you know I've I've been tempted, but you know like I say, they're a bit expensive for something I can't really use. Uh, but once I get a PC, I'm planning to get a PC in the next year anyway. So once I've got the money for a PC, then uh, I'll, I'll certainly have a look into one of them. I like the Acela better. I quite like the Acela as well. I hope with the updated Long Island Railroad, we will get um, not layered, it'd be AI, I think, um, like SLs and ACS 64s. That'd be quite nice. Probably get a Boston Sprinter then. Yeah, yeah, that's pro probably your best bet. If you want to experience the SL with more than 20 FPS on your journey, yes, yeah, that's a good shout. It run, Boston Sprinter runs really well, especially if you're on a Gen 8. Uh, I'm going to go back to my comment earlier about Just Train's upcoming route, because I did say I was going to talk about that, but I got a little bit distracted. Um, so I reckon Just Train's is next UK route. Do you want this drum roll? I was on drum roll. That just sounds a bit dodgy. Um, I'm going to predict that Just Trains are going to make the Hope Valley line from Manchester to Sheffield and they're going to use they're going to they're going to set it in a period where they can have in they're going to have either the 195 the northern class 195 and also the northern class 142 because the northern the pacer would would have ran on the Hope Valley line so all they'd have to do is essentially relivery it in the old northern livery the the purpley looking one and then also have the 195 and they could run it like um, as the 195s were introdu introduced and the 142s were taken out of service um, it's also sort of like a network which they like to do so you've got the sort of from Manchester you've got the branch that goes down towards um, Stockport I think and then you've got the other branch as well that goes via the Glossop line so that's my prediction for just trains is route because it's and, and they've also done it for train sim classic as well the train sim classic route that they made which I know that Blackpool branches wasn't what they did but um but yeah I think Hope Valley line something we could definitely see because they like to do northern stuff so I think it's gonna be a little bit backdated maybe like 2015 2016 or whatever whenever the uh, whenever the route was uh, um, whenever those trains whenever the paces were taken out of service and the 195s came in but that's my prediction anyway I went during rush hour and there was a football game, but luckily I went the other direction as the football fans. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's a rookie. That's a rookie error. <laughs> Why not the class one one five eight? What on the Hope Valley line? Well, maybe Skyhook could make a one five a Northern one five eight DLC if they really wanted to. Um, realist. I mean, if they wanted to do that. They could do a, a Northern 158 DLC and layer it back into Midland Mainline because the Northern 158 would realistically be at um, Nottingham, I think. Nottingham, Nottingham or Derby. Yeah, you would realistically see them. I kind of hope it would be London to Aylesbury. That's the Chiltern Mainline, isn't it? Um, 
that was my other option as well, potentially the Chilton main line. But the thing is, what I'm trying to think is, just trains are smart, and they'll most probably use a use a train use the train that they've already got, which is the pacer. So I'm thinking, well, they've already got the pacer. So in order to add variety, they could make a modern route, modern-ish route with the new rolling stock and then also have an older piece of rolling stock and then the Glossip Line AI is already there because we've got Northern we've got uh, Northern trains going along there so that's my prediction anyway I also think Dovetail have struggled getting the uh, Chilton Chilton Railways license and Northern they've already got so I don't know it just seems to make sense um, a lot of people keep saying that the Metropolitan Line's a shout but I don't think they'd do that if I'm honest I mean, they might do, and I wouldn't be disappointed if they did, but I think the Hope Valley line, just from what Just Trains are wanting to do, and also with how quick the route's coming around, as in, like, the sense that the Metropolitan line seems quite an ar arduous feat, whereas the Hope Valley line is something that'll probably be a bit easier to do. So, that's what I reckon, anyway. That's my prediction for Just, just Trains. Just Trains did an amazing job making the Blackpool Branches route. I really want to get it. They set the bar really high, so I hope their next route, uh, next UK route will show once more how to make routes properly. Have we not got Blackpool Branches? If you haven't get it, if you haven't got it, get it at full price. It is worth every penny. I believe if they do London to Ellsbury, it would be via the Metropolitan Line section. Yeah, but they'd they'd have to they have to use the... Oh, gosh, now what is it now that runs on the Chilton Main Line? I think it's the 165, isn't it, on the Chilton Main Line? Um, I'm not too sure what else runs on there now. And they wouldn't have the Metropolitan Stock. I don't imagine they'd make the Metropolitan Stock and the Chilton Railway Stock. I, I think the only... I think only West Coast Main Line from London to Milton Keynes Central. I think that is going to be a Dovetail product, and I think that's going to be a Dovetail pro product this this summer, if I'm honest. They seem to be doing things that people have been requesting, i.e. a Long Island Railroad 2.0. They've been requesting the Five Circle, and that's come out, and it's not a Dovetail product, that's a, that's a Rivet product, but from what they said in the preview stream, Dovetail wanted to do that, and then Rivet took it on. Um, so it just seems like a lot of things they've been requesting over the last year uh, over the last few years uh, what people have been requesting over the last few years they're finally getting around to um so for for example like the expert 101 uh, people didn't really ask for that but people asked for the actual cab car for the 101 people have asked for an updated calf car as well um people have also asked for london overground they've done that so I feel like they're just doing things that people have asked for now, and everyone's asked for West Coast Main Line, so it makes sense. <laughs> Once my student finance str financial struggles end, I will make sure to grab it. Oh, I know the pain. Don't worry, I weren't playing trains. In fact, no, I tell a lie. I was just playing trains in World as my uh, as my uni finished, um, but I was getting the routes on very very heavy discounts. <laughs> Uh, do you, uh, Dovetail have, have modelled the 166, so maybe just trains could ask Dovetail for the model and make it into a 165, who knows? I mean, they could do. Probably could do, yeah. I, f I, d I don't know, I feel like just trains are just... I don't know. Something Just something tells me that the Hope Valley line is what, what they're doing. It would just, in my mind, it makes sense, and it's kind of what I want. <laughs> it also makes sense they can utilise the pacer you know, so that all the work they put into the pacer, they can use again. They just need to relivery it. Which I think is... Because they'd be able to use the old livery as well, because it's... It's... Um, it's DFT, like... It's owned by Dovetail... Dovetail by uh, Department for Transport. So they'd be able to use the old livery with no problem. Hi, I'm back. Just had Chicago Town Pizza. I tell you what, I actually looked at Chicago Town Pizza the other day at Farm Foods, and they're like five quid for a pizza. Like, why? If I'm going to pay five quid for a frozen pizza, then I'm just going to get a takeaway pizza. 
I just think that routes around London also sell better. They probably do. Well, actually, no, because look at Blackpool branches. I know that is, you know, if you looked at the sales for Blackpool branches, it would probably be quite high. And also Scottish routes as well, they sell quite well. Um, hence why they're doing it. I'm, I'm guessing Cathcart sold well. That's why they're making the DLC for it. That's pretty much where I stand right now, nothing but discounts. Solid £1,000 would solve all my problems with lack of TSW content in my library. Uh, uh, don't worry, I, I know I know the pain all too well. I know I know the pain all too well. Thankfully I was on the uh, I was on a good amount of student student finance. It's mad to think when you when you get student loan, how much money that seems like, and then once you then eventually get a job and a house and a car and stuff, you realise how quickly thousands of pounds go. I hope just trains do a modern route next. Well, this is what I'm saying. I think I think the just trains route, the Hope Valley line, it will be backdated. Once I get to New York Penn, I'll have a little bit of I do a little bit of research on when the 195s were introduced into uh, onto the Hope Valley line. I want to say it's late 2010s, if I'm honest. So it'd be a semi recent route. It also means that um, the at Sheff the Sheffield end, you, like Sheffield and Manchester won't be dead stations. So this is another reason why I think it's it's going to be like that, because Sheffield will get all the EMT stock, and in Manchester we've got the Northern 323. We'll have um, obviously the EMT stock that side. I don't know whether the EMT would run along the Hope Valley. I don't think they do. Um, and you know whatever whatever applicable stock could go into Manchester. I mean, if it's coming out in six months' time and we're getting the West Coast Main Line, then, you know, potentially, we could see Pendolinos there. Be, it'd be interesting. It's an interesting uh, bit of uh, speculation, anyway. I also went to Berlin on Friday and I, I would have almost seen a man probably, like, kick a teen off a train. Oh, that doesn't sound... Sound very good. As soon as I found out the timetable is being reduced on last gen by eye watering, eye watering amount of 385 services, um, I brought the I brought the PS5 picking PS5 very soon. PS4 version will be like the original version. Yeah, so that's what I've seen as well. That PS4 version is going to be less services, which makes sense because well, I don't. I, I was a PS4 player up until the end of 2022 and a lot of the routes were starting to get a lot of the routes were starting to get a bit laggy so I feel like you know even when I when I had the PS4 and I, I was wasn't planning to get a PS5 um, the route I thought you know they need to drop last gen it's 2024 right we're halfway through the life cycle of, a, of gen 9 so they need to drop they need to think about dropping it soon anyway and you know start beefing up the routes a bit more which is obviously what they're doing with, with all these overhauls and stuff they're trying to do it towards next gen which well current gen because next gen's probably you know four years away uh, I added some older routes with the hum humble bundle seven route packs and free loco packs and even a standard copy of the game for $15 that's ridiculous I've seen that Humble Bundle, but you can't get it on PlayStation, which is well annoying. Hope Valley Line would be nice. It would be a good good route. Is it possible to use an Xbox controller on TS Classic? I don't know. I don't have TS Classic, and I don't have an Xbox, so I wouldn't be able to help you there. EMT158, yeah. If I didn't have to put 80% of my monthly income into my rent, then I would be living, it, I would be living like a muddy pig. Whereabouts do you go to uni? Because that will help your... your, uh, your That'll help me just like determine your situation. Richie, I work hard on my channel and it doesn't get that many views. Everyone subscribe to Elijah. Let's help him out. Um, just to, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, eventually you'll find something that works. For me, I sort of like time my content right for what routes are coming out. So, for example, like my real life train spotting stuff does doesn't do very well, but I'm hoping that if I'm persistent with it, it'll gain some traction. My main thing is doing first look videos and what you can expect videos, they do quite well. And I quite enjoy them, I quite like enjoy doing them because it helps me 
helps myself hype myself up for the route, if that makes sense. Um, where's the red light here? We yeah, everyone's going to subscribe to uh, Elijah. Let's help him out. I'm jealous that he's got over 500 subscribers now. Right, there we go. That's one service done. Oh, West Coast Mainline, West Coast Mainline indeed. I mean, there's, there's, there's. If if Dovetail did West Coast Mainline South or wherever, and they also did the Chase Line with the 350, and then apparently ATS are working on the North Wales coastline. There's a heavy rumour that they're doing a, they're doing an Avanti Voyager. So we'd have Avanti stock, we'd have London Northwestern stock, Northern stock. So that's Manchester sorted. And then we have EMT stock and obviously the Northern stock as well. Um, so that's that sorted. Just, you know, it seems like it'd be a really good route. Evening all, how you doing Paul? Good evening, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing fantastic on this fine Sunday evening. Let's catch up with the, tra uh, with the chat. I introduced West Midlands Transport Hub to you. Oh, yeah, I know, I, cer uh, I certainly remember. Um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's joined the server and subscribed and everything, so I massively appreciate it. appreciate your support. Well, well, it should be dropped before when TSW5 comes out. TSW5 shouldn't be a thing. I really hope it's not a thing. Um, just, uh, like, look how beautiful we've got Trains in World 4 now. Just keep it like this. There's no need to, don't, bro don't fix what's not broken. Uh, I know it's broken, but they're not, like, not exactly going to fix it, is it? I have a prediction that by October the, the Dovetail will announce TSW5. TSW5. I mean, this, this the same thing with TS, TSC every year. Uh, yeah, I, I think TSW5 is going to be a thing, but I don't think... I, I think if they listen to the community, people will be like, we don't want that. Uh, I'm going to do a run in the... Um, in the... M3. Where are we going to go? We'll do that one. Looks good to me. Bit of Hempstead running. Hemp. Well, you're jealous. I'm growing very slowly and you're probably going to overtake me. It's not a competition though, is it? What is the next live stream going to be about? So next week is British. Is going to be the it's UK route. So with my streams, I mean, I have contemplated the last week to do potentially like tram sim as a live stream, but I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. Um, maybe in a couple of weeks' time, but I try and do this thing with the with the live streams that I do a different region each week. So I try and do UK, European, US. So the next route would be UK. We've got 20 people watching. Hope you're all doing well. By the way, 20 people. That's absolutely insane. I can't believe in the Goblin Line stream we had what was it 31, 32 at one point. That was absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, so next week, um, it's going to be UK route, and it's going to be the UK route, and um, I, I'm I'm not too sure what I'm doing with Semmering Barn. So if if I get if I end up getting Semmering Barn, I might do that instead. But on the basis that I don't get Semmering Barn, uh, it's going to be Birmingham Cross City next week because why not? Or if or conversely, if. Uh, rivet update five circle then i'll get five circle because as soon as the update get, comes out i will get it i'm just waiting for that update but until it's finished i'm not doing it i'm not getting it so if they really if so put it this way if they update um five circle that'll be next week's uh, stream if not it'll be birmingham cross city i am thanks richie D uh, just enjoying your stuff you post uh but first time i got a live stream got, got into a live stream well welcome Hope you're doing well. Um, these live streams are pretty much the same time every every week. Uh, I think next week's one might be a bit later or a bit earlier. Um, I have to let you know because I am out on Sunday, so it might be on a different day. I will let you know that. When did uh, when did ever Dovetail really listen to fans complaining about another title release? That's how we got Tears to be four in the first place. I think. I think they know. I think the devs know that it's not what we want, but I think it's just the higher ups that are causing what they call, you know, causing it to to be a thing. 
Everyone feel free to subscribe to to yep. Yeah, everyone feels free to subscribe to Elijah, of course. I wish Dovetail would allow purchases to run on all platforms without having to repurchase. So that's a more of that's more of a console thing. That's not Dovetail's fault. That's that's more of a Sony and Microsoft thing. It's like um, in order for Sony and Microsoft to make money, they obviously have their own their exclusives and whatever else. And it's like any game, well, most games anyway. Like if you bought if you bought F one twenty twenty three F one twenty three on PlayStation, you'd own the PlayStation version. You wouldn't own the Xbox version. So it's not it's not Dovetail's fault. That's just how games are. Hi, Sai, how you doing? I've, I've um, not seen you in the streams for a little, wh little while. Hope you're doing well. I know that you recently moved house, didn't you? So how's that going? Unless you've not moved house yet. <laughs> I honestly want the next US route after San Bernardino and Long Island Railroad to be Staten Island Railroad. Um, oh, yeah. I've not, I've not too, I've not really thought that far ahead with... US routes. I did say a couple of months ago about my predictions for Long, Long Island and stuff, uh, for the Dovetail Direct even. I said that the next route will be a, an East Coast route and then they'll go back to the West Coast. So technically I'm still right because they've done Long Island Railway 2.0 and then they're going to be doing San Bernardino. Why, we, why aren't my doors opening? Um, for some reason. My doors are opening. Hold on, let me reset the physics. Eh? Ah. That might help. Hold on, bear with me. Bear with me. Is it bear with me? Where? Um. Um, is it just me, or my door's not working? Hmm. Okay. Why is that doing nothing? Eh? What? Right. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's all right. It's okay. Anyway, where was I at? Um, yeah. So the next US route, I've not really thought that far ahead. It probably won't be till next year. Now the next US route, um, unless they obviously do a summer bundle, and it it'll be probably be a freight route, won't it? Um, Passen for the next US passenger route. I have a feeling. <clears throat> in fact, you know what? I have a feeling that. The next North American passenger route is going to be a Canadian route. I think we're going to get a Toronto commuter. That'll be part of the summer release. So we'll get Toronto commuter. We'll probably get maybe a Berlin route and then um, West Coast Mainline. So I think we're going to get a Rush Hour 2.0, to be honest. I think that's where they're going with it. Yeah, I normally watch the stream after you do them. Um, oh well thank you for watching them afterwards um, I know that people have things going on and they can't always join the stream so I appreciate you being here TSW5 will be next year I hope not <laughs> I, I, I just the problem is the problem is right I absolutely love this game I absolutely love Trains and World and every time I try and recommend it to new people but then they go and do things like release a new iteration and every single person I've put like, that's like not a massive train fan, but you know, tolerates them, let's say. Um, and I've said, I'll get this, it's on sale. And they'll be like, well, why, why have I got a new version and why have I got to buy it again? And it's, it puts a lot of new people off, you know, people I've spoken to anywhere. So a lot puts them off. So it's, you know, they're shooting themselves in the foot really, but what can you do? I think J slash Z and 7 as New York City subway route could work as most of it is above ground with only 6 on the J and non-existent Z and 7 on the, uh, and seven on the 7 being below ground. I think Dovetail said somewhere in their forums that 
won't be won't really make freight routes anymore and something just like layering freight onto passenger routes well I, I don't recall them saying that they weren't going to be doing american freight but i know that american freight just doesn't sell um and to be fair it's pretty boring so <laughs> i think it's a very very niche uh niche bunch of people that like american freight um you know in the grand scheme of things i think people just like you know passenger that's what, what what a lot of people like to play. Richie, do you enjoy Fall Guys? I do. I think it's an all right game, actually. Um, I play it every now and get, now and now and then with my cousin. Um, it's like I also play Rocket League every now and then, um, but I've not played it for a while. I have to be in the mood for Fall Guys, and I I, I I I go with other games. I go through phases, so I predominantly play Trains in World. But other games, I just go through phases. So, like, I'll have an F1 phase, and then I'll have maybe maybe a City Skylines phase, and then maybe a Rocket League. You know, I'll go through the, the, these different phases, but then, obviously, I'm always playing Train Sim World. Because I very much like Train Sim World. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but I think this is bugged, this service, because I can't seem to unlock the doors, no matter what I do. Which is annoying because it was working. I, I did a run on this yesterday and it was working fine. Um, right, that's a bit of a fail. I'm going to do a different service. I want to do a, a service in the M3, but I don't understand why it's not letting me unlock the doors. Rush Hour 2 would have been would would have to be C2C for a UK route. Part of the route is built slightly different version of the units that are in game. Mm, maybe. Maybe it's so the thing is, and I've got this mad theory, right? Let me jump into the M3 again and I'll tell you my mad theory. Uh, what services did I do? Should we do a Belmont service? <laughs> uh, Hempstead to New York Pen. We'll do a New York Pen to Hempstead. We'll do that one. Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, so I've got this theory with with dovetail routes, right? Often, do you know, with the Creators Club and the livery designer or whatever, they've got these, um, they've got the decals of actual real life routes, uh, real life operators, um, and I've noticed that when they started doing that, about nine months after they they had, you know, within like six to nine months of them adding. Um, them lo them logos to the creators club and to delivery designer they release a route with that that an operator that that operator runs on so for example when they first did the first ban batch of lo logos for the creators club they included the west midlands railway uh, and then six months later birmingham cross city came out and then they did the same with the overground uh, just before Christmas. They, they did an update where they added an overground decal, and then they've released the Fridget line. And then last year, they did actually do. They did release an Avanti West Coast one. So they've got an Avanti West Coast license, um, and I think they did the same with Thameslink as well. They added Thameslink on there. They released the 700. So they've got an Avanti West Coast license there. The logos in the Creators Club. It's just a matter of time. I think it's just a matter of timing now to see what they can they can pull out the bag. Uh, I'm not that keen on American freight, too much work, love, but I don't mind doing a, a European freight. Um, I'm 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 indifferent with freight. I don't mind it. I certainly wouldn't pay full price for it, um, whether that be European or um, or American. Got nothing against it. It's just I find it a little bit boring personally. Richie friend me on four guys. I will do if I remember. And the reason I said non existent Z is because it only runs for three hours a day in peak direction in in the peak direction. Oh I see, right okay. At best I would like it to be the J slash Z Broad Street to Jamaica Centre and M branch to the middle to mid middle village. How long would that be? Uh why am I not going anywhere? I'll have charged my brakes. Why is my train not working today? 
My brakes are released. Ah, do you know what? It'll be that one, it. You goon. Right. Why can't I put it into four? What the chuff? Why can't I? Right. Hold on a minute. Right. Right, go. 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 What the? Right, what on earth's going on here? Come on. Right, go. There we go. Hello, Richie, I'm back. Just had a wash before I post my next video. <laughs> you what? <laughs> so, do you have a wash every time? Like, every time before a video, uh, before you release a video? <laughs> that was a bit random. Um, probably the time period where the R32, the R160, and the one. Uh, 179s ran. I'm not too sure. I'm I'm not too sure about like and uh, New York City subway stuff. So uh, I'll need. I, I don't know what they would look like. Sorry, Richard, you gotta go. No worries. West Midlands Transport Hub. Hope you have a uh, fantastic rest of your evening. You've been here for about an hour. So uh, um, sorry, I'm just just laughing at what Train Boy said. Um, Yes, yeah, so thank you very much for joining, and I uh, hope you have a good rest of your evening. We'll catch up with you on Discord a little later. What have I missed? Uh, not much. Um, we did a failed service from Hempstead because my train stopped working. Uh, and we, I mentioned about, oh, your comment about just trains, um, if you didn't catch that. Richie, I wouldn't be surprised if they advertised a TSW5 in September or August. It's just like why. Also, they'd better fix tons of bugs and add um, what more features. Otherwise, they'll lose less, less and less people. Yeah. So you can imagine that the day they release, they announce Trains in World Five. You 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 can you can imagine I'm going to do a big sigh because uh, I just I just hope I just hope it's not it's not the case. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded weird. I I have it scheduled. What, the wash before the video or the video itself? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Just messing with you. Don't get me wrong, if if they're doing a summer update, I'm all for that. I'm all for a summer update, but I just don't want it to be a new iteration of a game. I just think it's just a bit of a ball lake, to be honest, moving all the stuff across. I've still not fully moved all my, my stuff across from TSW3 yet. And I feel like they've put so much effort into this whole, you know, they've put a lot of effort into this game, so they would be wasting dev time doing a new iteration. I post videos on Mondays and Saturday, and I post videos on Wednesday, but I haven't gone transporting in a while. I mean, shorts. Oh, I see, right, okay. Can you schedule shorts? I didn't realise you could do that. Which you're not doing bad, one overshoot and one non-mover. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right, I think. I know this route quite well, so um, so yeah. <laughs> I'd like to hope I, I, I do. I've done good. Who actually picks these routes? We get every month. Is it like just what Matt wants or what we want? I think it's there's there's a, they've discussed it before. They have like a lamp process, which is like I don't know what each one stands for, but basically they have like different pros. It's like an acronym, and they have a look at different things. So like sort of like what people want the area. Um, the motivation and what's like, um, I can't remember the full, full, the full acronym, but they do have a look at like what people have suggested, what's feasible, um, you know, what can they get licensing for, um, all that sort of stuff. Because you've got to think as well. Obviously, there's dev time as well. Um, that you know, if if a route they've got a license for is too long, they're not going to make it. And then you know what? At what point they need to balance it? At what point does it become not profitable? So they make a route, and then if it doesn't become rough, you know, all the time and resource they put into it isn't no longer going to be profitable. At the end of the day, they're a business and they need to make money. The route would be 15 miles with around 36 stations. See, I think that'd be feasible because um, they do shorter routes but with a lot of stations. I mean, 36 might be pushing it a bit, but they do like to do... Um, if they do a shorter route, it's got a lot more stations. 
but most of the sta uh, most stations to me on that route look the same on the elevated section. I see. So how many how many stations are on the are on the Bakerloo line? That's a good question because that's like 14 miles long and that's got a lot of stations. I have it planned and I haven't got um, anything to post train related, so I'm trying to change my channel a bit. I think someone mentioned in the Discord that you posted some car stuff. And you do what, what, whatever, you, whatever you're, whatever you feel comfortable with doing content on, do it. Richie, they better make the TSW4 Harrogate line and Chase line extend East Coast Main line to York. That's a lot to ask for, but we can certainly hope. I mean, like I said uh, a few weeks ago, I think the Harrogate line is going to be a DLC made by Rivet in the future. Um, because they they essentially will own the 170 um, shape, what's it, model. And then obviously the 158 and the 150 and whatever else. The 150 is a rivet model and the 158's a skyhook model. So I think it'll be a... I think it'll be a... Um, yeah. Unless, here's a good one. Skyhook's next route could be the Harrogate line. They could do the Harrogate line... Um, with a Northern 150, a 158, maybe a Northern 155, and then, and then Rivet could make a Northern 170 DLC, which then could layer into um, the new, the, the Hope Valley line. Oh, here you go. Just curious. I love the routes we get. Was just curious. Yeah. So you know, they have mentioned that they're trying to. The suggestions are there for a reason, and they do often do come to fruition, um, especially the third parties. Um, you know, I think I think a couple of years ago, a lot of people were asking for high speed, and then they did a ton of high speed routes. Um, now they just, you know, I think things like the San Bernardino line were definitely requested after the uh, were definitely requested after Antelope came out. People have been asking for Metrolink. People have also been asking for London Overground. Mark my words, West Coast Main Line will be this summer. Let me come to a stop here. I mean, Long Island Railroad is probably going to be 40 stations in the 2.0 version. I think they said it was 39, didn't they? Um, the different, the caveat there, there though, is that most of them were already built. I mean, how many stations are in it now? It's probably quite a few, to be honest. Well, they're at no, so they're adding 10 stations on. So I think there's already like 29 stations or something stupid like that in this one. I think one good thing about New York City subway routes is that you would have a 24/7 timetable. That's a good shout. That's a good, very good point. And they like to you, they like to say, "Oh, we've got um, we've got X amount of a uh, what do we call it? They've got you know they like to talk about their 24-hour timetable that they've recently done." I think there was a problem with that service before, and now the, the doors seem to be working, which is quite nice. Just a quick shout just a quick shout out to the Discord if you've not joined the Discord already. We were at 34 members, I believe. So there's a link at the top there. If you want to just join if you want to join the Discord and we chat about all things trains, we talk about F1 when there's a race on and uh, and yeah, there's a very nice little community there. I would love the Piccadilly line 51 stations plus I'm a signalman on the underground. Oh, nice. Lovely stuff. 51 stations is a lot to ask though, so it would probably be a section of the Piccadilly line, not the whole, not the full thing. I used to make edits back in 2020. Edits is in like, um, what do you call them when it's all like fancy transitions and stuff. Good evening Scooby, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. What have you been up to on this fine weekend? Do you have any, have any concern that licenses may expire or not get renewed due to cost and then the DLC under that license could be revoked or no longer be playable? So, from my understanding, once they have a license, once they've released a product, they can't revoke the product, they can't take it away from someone. 
I believe in their licensing agreements they have that written in there that once they've granted the license it can't be revoked um, it'd, be, it'd be essentially like like with Hornby for example like the branded Hornby stuff like let's say you've got a Eleanor Azuma model from Hornby they couldn't revoke they couldn't take that model off you could they they're not allowed to that'd be essentially stealing um, but I believe that they did they have had licenses revoked but once the actual product has become a thing they can't get rid of it um, I believe so anyway but I think they learnt that as soon as as early as GWR because they had problems with, G, uh, with GWR didn't they that's why they can't they don't have the license anymore But no, I don't have any concerns. I mean, to be fair, right, it's like, if it was questionable, they wouldn't do it. Richie, London commuter is so good, and did you, uh, and did you know I got Cathcart Circle free? I did, yes, I was. On, I think I was the one that recommended it to you. London commuter is really good. If you've got a next gen as well, it's a really good route to play. Um, that's, a, that's an absolute solid route. Uh, one that I should do a stream on, to be honest. That'll probably want to do soon anyway. I need to do a video on London Commuter. I've not done that yet. And Kafka Circle, well, now that you've got that, you're going to be getting the update because I think they're going to be doing a full overhaul of the route. Um, I'm guessing so, anyway, it would make sense. So uh, you'll get a, a TSW4 version of Kafka Circle when, it come, when that gets updated for the Class, one, uh, class 380. Which is a surprise, wasn't it, that we got the Class 380 as the Loco DLC? I thought the Intercity 225 would have made a lot more sense. Um, and I'm guessing the 380 is so that they could update Kafka Circle and trying to boost the sales of that a bit more. Which makes a, makes a bit of sense, I suppose. I suppose a lot of people, this is what comes back to the whole thing of busy and upstations, so... By them updating Kafka Circle, they can add 385s in, they can add 170s, 158s, and now the 380. So they can boost up that, that route, you know, a route that's, you know, it's a good route and it's sold well, so they might as well boost it up whilst they can. Cockfosters to Northfields as you get to, as you get, as you get a depot there. How long would, how long would that be mileage? My friend got me into it, what into into your edits. Hey, nice. People do that on like TikTok and stuff, don't they? they do edits. Worked yesterday, today. Been trying some more PZB runs. Oh, don't talk to me about PZB. <laughs> oh dear, no, I can't stand PZB. I just don't like it at all. It really upsets me. My only ride on a tra on a UK train was from London to an F1 race at Silverstone, and then they had rail work. And the train didn't complete the route as we had to find alternative transportation to the track. What's the nearest train station to um, to Silverstone? I think it's Milton Keynes, isn't it? I'm very jealous that you've been to uh, you've been to Silverstone. I'm very jealous indeed. I think they probably can't can't like take it away, but they can probably ask ask it to be taken taken off the store and only the people that own it can still play it well exactly so that's the thing so when i say revert, so obviously you can't buy it anymore but they can't take it off you they can no longer they can't like not make it playable they'd have to refund for pretty much everyone so i don't think that would happen and if it did i think it would be the end of the game if you know what i mean we'd we'd be known we'd, we'd know that the game's on the way out if that's the case I just don't let Rivet do anything to the Kafka Circle. I don't think so. Will the 380 be free? No. No, so the 380 is a DLC, but the update to the route, which will include... So I'm assuming the route will get Todd 4 Lightning and stuff. So the actual update to the route will be free. But the 380, you'll probably need that to unlock the new timetable, I'm guessing. Or you'll get the... It, I don't know. I don't know how, it, how it'll work. But it'll be a DLC anyway. I can't wait to do London Computer and New York Trenton updated timetable on PS5 just to complete different experiences compared to last time. Honestly, Omar, right? When I so I got I got a PS5 like I said Christmas 2022. 
and the difference you see between PS4 and PS5 is absolutely insane. So London Commuter, other than at London Victoria, it runs beautifully. So honestly, get, do a do a London do a London Commuter run, and then also um, have a look at. That's another good route. Neverka Dresden, that's another good one with the with with the updates. Uh, and Munich Munich Augsburg as well. Only takes forty to fifty minutes. Okay, nice. So that's probably a feasible route eventually, yeah. I think it's if it's if it's less than so you've got to think of a ratio of stations to 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 route length in order for it to be feasible and obviously it's gotta be less than an hour. You reckon they could add the Intercity 225 for the summer update? Uh, no. I don't... F maybe. They could do. I don't know. That's a good That's a good question, actually. I, I don't know. They could do a deluxe version, couldn't they? But I don't imagine... Why they'd do that? I don't know. I'm not too sure. London Commuter is good, but sadly doesn't run well. I think it runs quite well. It doesn't run well at London Victoria, but most key stations don't anyway. For me, London Commuter runs very well outside of Croydon and London Victoria. Yeah, so pretty much everywhere after Battersea Park, it runs absolutely beautifully for me. Is it okay if I join the Discord when I'm at work tomorrow? I could send a video of it of my place. Yeah, so uh, in the Discord, join whenever you want. There's a link at the top there. Um, and there's a des designated train spotting channel in there. So just post any real life footage in that. East Croydon and London Victoria the textures, textures go mushy for me. What are you on? You're on Xbox. Which Xbox are you on? Are you on the one that's equivalent to PS4 or the one that's equivalent to PS5? Next up is Hollies, Hollis, something like that. Got another M3 there. So I'm assuming that the Long Beach branch, I think, goes down here, doesn't it? Is that right? Long Beach is down this way. What's what's this way then? Because I think we're getting this bit as well. We're getting extend. We get it's just extending down this way, I believe. I just had a look at the timetable. If they were to make the end New York subway route, I suggested in the chat it would be tw twelve trains per hour. That's not so, uh, what twelve on the J, and up to nine on the M. So. <clears throat> Gosh, that's, what, 20, 21 trains an hour in each direction? That would be very, that would be a very busy route. What German route is the Expert 101 for? I would assume it's for um, Hauptstrucker Rhein Rohr, because that's where it was originally, the 101. So I'm guessing they wouldn't change that. I'm not too sure. <clears throat> Well, it would be the signalling control room, which does the district line and pick of the other lines. That's technically train spotting, isn't it? It's probably the best place, but that or shove it in general. In fact, no, keep it in train spotting because then people can come back to it easily. Obviously, general, there's everyone's chatting, so everything gets. If you put anything there, it gets lost quicker. I'm Xbox Series X, but also Xbox One, and lol, I have both. Which one's better? I have no, no idea. Yes, it does. That's the JFK Air Train. What are they run? Are they run by Long Island Railroad stock as well? I don't on Xbox S, uh, but then got a PS5, and I have to say I prefer the PS5. The PS5 is elite. PlayStation is elite. I'm, in fact, I'm wearing my PlayStation joggers right now. As you, as if you if you came to my house, you'd see that there's play. Well, there was in my old house even there was PlayStation coasters. I've got PlayStation slippers, PlayStation joggers, hoodie. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a lot of PlayStation cups, lots of PlayStation socks. Yeah. 
What UK route should I get? What ones have you already got? If you haven't got Birmingham Cross City, I'd suggest that be your first one to get. Definitely. <laughs> Ow, I just punched myself in the face. Um, I keep doing that. I keep forgetting that I've got a headset on, so I punch. I like accidentally punch myself in the face, and then the mic hits me in the face as well. The M only shares six stations with the J, and then splits off the uh, Middle Village at Myrtle Avenue, and heads on to Sixth Avenue, Sixth Avenue Trunk at Delancey Essex Street. Cool. So, is it essentially like two routes in one? I need to slow down a bit here. Slow down a tiny bit. Just a bit, because we're, we're, we're close. I don't want to overshoot this one. Nope, they run on the Port Authority of uh, New York and New Jersey. Oh, so they would be, they'd be completely different trains then. PlayStation. Uh, hello, hello, Alfie. How you doing? Uh, PlayStation should pay you for advertising. They certainly should. And it costs eight dollars fifty if you want to get on at Jamaica or Howard Beach. How long? How long's the trip? Is it like ten minutes? Which PlayStation did you start on? Oh, I'm going back here now. The PS2 was my first PlayStation. My first console was a PS2, and my first game was Grand Theft Auto Vice City. <laughs> and then, well, my first game, shall I say, were Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Simpsons Hit and Run. That's how old I am. You're obsessed with PlayStation, Richard, the Xbox Series S is S is great, but I want I would want to upgrade to PS5, but I don't know when or how. Any advice on how much it is? Uh, I think they're a bit cheaper now. So if you used to get the slim version, the smaller version, I think it's about 470 quid, something like that. Uh, I didn't pay for this PlayStation. My, my missus did. She bought it me as a Christmas present, and it cost her 650 pound, I think, something stupid like that at the time. Uh, but that's because he had the new the new Spider Man with it. I've got East Coast Mainline, Brighton Mainline, Ed Edinburgh to Glasgow, and I do have GWR, but it's telling me to pay twenty four ninety nine to get it back. You shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to pay for it again. Um, what are you on, Train Boy? What what uh what platform are you on? Uh, and if you want to get a route. I think there's a few on sale. Let me get to Queen's Village. There's some on on PlayStation. On PlayStation, there's there's some on sale. I can't wait for the 380. We have just been talking about the 380, actually. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. It wouldn't be my first choice for a Loco DLC, if I'm honest. Everdrive American Freight. I've done I've done a bit of American Freight, so I own. Sandpatch Grade and Sherman Hill um, they're the only American freight routes and Cajon Pass as well I own them um, they're alright uh, not my go to certainly not I mean I might do a stream one day on, America, on an American freight route we'll see but um, but no, I, no they're certainly not my favourite types of routes anyway yes 10 minutes I believe from watching videos and stuff 10 minutes Eight pound fifty for ten minutes. That's that's daylight robbery. I'm just where's Queen's Village now? I think it's at the end of this here, isn't it? PS2 was my first. Also, I waited in line overnight to get it. Oh gosh, I wasn't old enough to buy a PS2. <laughs> I definitely wasn't old enough. It was a it was a hand me down from my dad. So, um, well, I say hand me down. He just he, he bought it but never played it. Um, so I I started playing on the PS2 in two thousand and five. So I would have been the grand old age of five. <laughs> Some YouTubers kind of have a trick where you go one stop. 
you get off one stop early and then Howard Beach train and you get on a bus take you to another sub subway station I mean if it's a 10 minute journey it's probably not that far to go in like a taxi or whatever or a by bus isn't the PlayStation Pro coming out soon or next year there already is uh, there's a PlayStation uh, PS, the PS5 Pro I think came out la uh, late last year it would take longer, maybe cost around five dollars less. Yeah, but depends how much less you want to pay. I've accidentally unlocked the doors there. Hold on. Any of you American fans in the uh, rail fans in the chat? Does the M3 sound like sound like this? Because it sounds a lot like the 1972 stock. I have a feeling it sounds wrong. Richie, if I if I buy a PS5 but a new PlayStation comes out with a big new features, then my PS5 won't be good, and will it st and will it stay great? Well, think of it this way, right? If you was to get a PS5 in the next year, you've still got a good five years of it being the key console. I don't think the PS6 is going to be coming out to like 27, 28. So you've easily got three to four years. Um, but you think about it, right? So if you think with the PS4, for example, that was... Um, that. I mean, people still play that, and the PS5 has been out for four years. So, uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a worthy purchase because, well, the PS6, when that comes out, that's probably going to be ridiculously expensive. And they had all, like, they had issues with... Um, with what you call it resources and stuff so they couldn't they couldn't sell as many they had those shortages so I'd, I'd just get a ps5 and then you've at least got three to four years with it anyway have a look in the black friday sales later this year i'll be loads oh that was a terrible stop on it that's not gonna be a very good stop at all uh, no that's bad don't look don't look it's all right don't look it's fine Oh, oh, there's a bus there. It's just drove through a wall. Um, that's not how that works. Why are you driving through someone's garden? Oh, 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 Tokyo Drift. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, and that's pe that's that house destroyed. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, it's, it's done it over there as well. It's probably like drifting. Watch, it's like a proper chicane. Watch this. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway, right. I've not even unlocked the doors. Sorry, I need to catch up with the chat here. PlayStation Pro, com uh, Pro comes in and TSW 5 will follow, probably. Hi, Richie. I'm on Xbox Series X. It's a good console, but I have been playing the 5 Circle. The 170 is a great model. How's the new home? The new home's really good, actually, uh, Mikey. It's, re it's really quite nice. Um, like I said earlier on, I met my... Uh, I met my neighbour on a on our left side, and um, he seems like a top-notch bloke. Honestly, um, he's a retired bloke. Uh, he's a he's a keen biker, so uh, he was saying that he he goes up towards Scarborough and that. So bless him. But yeah, it's a nice little home. The cats are settling in. Um, it's cosier than the last place, definitely, and it's also got a driveway, which is good. I can park my little my little punto on there. So yeah, and it's also uh, it's about a temp a, a cycle to the train station. It's a 10 minute cycle away, which is uh, really handy. I'm not having to drive to a station anymore. I own Cajon, Sandpatch and Clinchfield. Only Clinchfield because tears to be free. Humble bundle. Hey, nice. My PS5 digital version costs £389. I think that is good value for an extra £90 to a disc version. Yeah, so I got a disc version so I could pay PS4 games on it. Um, but to be fair, I think in hindsight, the digital version's a good shout because most games are digital now because you could with the with the disc version you could put your PS4 game in and then you you can if like there's a PS5 version of it you got it for free so that's why I did that um but uh but yeah I think I think you know they're both it's good it's just as good as each other <laughs> Yes, the air train is free unless you go to Jamaica or Howard Beach. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So if you got on at, like, 
the next station across, you'd be, you'd be good. PS5 Slim came out. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the PS5 Slim came out. The PS5 Pro will probably be the next one, wouldn't it? You left the station. I did. I'm at the next one now. <laughs> I love the big American freight locos, but driving them is not as fun as commuter runs. No, no, I, I agree. I find that a lot of the um, American uh, American freight routes are just a bit dull. So they, they look nice, don't get me wrong, but rolling at 25 mile an hour for an hour isn't very fun to me. I think COVID will extend this console generation by at least two to three years. Um, that bus was classic, I know, yeah, crashed into them houses. Um, yeah, I personally think we'll see the next generation of consoles maybe, yeah, 2027, 2028, back end of this decade, definitely. We've still got another five years at least with these ones before they release a new one. So I still think we, we could, these consoles are power enough, powerful enough to last at least another 10 years, I'd say. I absolutely love to drive. To, absolutely love to drive the, the M3. That's actually M3A. It's a nice. It's a nice unit, isn't it? Beautiful. They look really nice as well. It's a shame that it's going to be a, still a loco DLC though. Also, another issue is I'll lose all my gains and progress. And I'll have to create a PlayStation account, and then I'll have to purchase TSW4 again. Is there any way to transfer progress from Xbox to PS5? No. It's like any game. It's like any Xbox games you've got. You won't be able to put them on the PS5 unless they're cross-gen initially, um, which I don't think a lot of games are. Um, so yeah, you'd have to start from scratch, but just get stuff from really cheap sales and just build it back up over time. Or conversely, just get new get the newer routes on the on the PlayStation, and then slowly get the updated stuff. Or just just get a new Xbox. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but any train that has handles just sounds sounds more fun to drive. Yeah, yeah. This one's a it's a nice it's a nice classic handle. One second.
Hello, sorry about that. Just had to quickly sort something out. Oh. Let me get back to the comments a second. I own a PS4 and a PS5. Same. The only routes I have are Cross City Line, South East Knights, Beard, Glossop Line, S Bahn for Alberg, Antelope Valley, East Coast Main Line, uh, Blackpool Branches, London Commuter, and Kafka Circle. Oh, okay, so that's not too bad. So the TSW4 core, you could you could pick up um, quite cheap in a sale anyway. If you was to get a PS5, you could probably get it for about 12 quid now. I'm going to get two Scott Rail Locos. I'm going to get the Cl Scott Rail Class 158 and the Scott Rail Class 380. Yeah, sounds like a good shout. I'm back. Welcome back, Andy. <clears throat> yeah, the M9 is coming. The M9 is coming indeed. What Stanwell uh, station reminds me of Hogsmeade and Harry Potter. Yeah, that's um, the actual stations on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, I think. Wait, if I bought Train Sim World on a PS5, could I sign into my Dovetail account and then it would sync my progress and download all the routes I have? Uh, it might do. I don't know whether that works or not. <clears throat> do you think I should get the Midland Main Line? Yes. <clears throat> yes, definitely get the Midland, Midland, Midland Main Line. It's a very good route. Very good route indeed. Need to get a drink. What's my cat doing? My cat's playing up. Sorry, guys. One second. Ugh. We've got twenty-two people watching. Hope you're all doing well. Hello again, mate. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing good, Sam. How are you doing? Samuel. Sorry, I don't know what you prefer to be called. Sam or Samuel. Richie, I might just buy a new P Xbox because I can transfer all my progress across. Yeah, I mean, you do what you want to do. If you want to um, get a new Xbox and that's what you prefer, then that sounds like a solid idea. I'm going to make a Scott Rail family with the class 314, 385, 170, 158 and 380. Gosh, we have got a lot of uh, a lot of um, Scott Rail stock, haven't we? I don't mind either. Okay, okay, that's cool. <laughs> I know that some people don't like the shortened version or the or the long version of their name. Richie, I need more money to afford Suffragette Line. It should go on sale fairly soon. Oh dear, my cat's playing up. What European country should TSW expand to next? I'd really like to see Belgium, if I'm honest. I think Belgium would be a really nice, uh, nice route, or Netherlands. Or in fact, just another French route would be quite cool. In fact, Spain? Yeah, Spain maybe? I don't know, you can go anywhere, can't you? Oh, I'm coming too fast into this station. Far too fast. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'll be all right. Slow down a little bit. Slow down there. Way. It's 
Steiner UK has just joined the Discord. Thank you very much for joining the Discord. I went to the party the other day and it's near a train station. My brother was telling me to play football with him, but I was focused on the trains. Oh, nice. What train station was, roughly? I do like the Stadler locomotive and the Class 68. It'd be good to see the Class 68, wouldn't it? They barely do Xbox sales and they make excuses on why they don't. don't and they do tons of PC sales. I think... If I'm correct, you can get if you get if you've got a PC, you can get if you own the roots on PC, you can play them on Xbox. But they're obviously the they're the PC versions, I think, something like that. Got 24 people watching. Wow, that's incredible. We've got we've got a load of people coming in. I'd love more French for, uh, more French being on a TGV a few times. I'd like to see a French commuter route, not like a high speed route. That'd be quite cool to see. Benelux region, which would be good, uh, but I'd also love Northern Europe, especially Norway or Finland. That'd be quite nice. That'd be quite nice. Quite very nice indeed. Santa Patch Grade is the successor, successor to CSX Heavy Hall. It's the, it's the updated version, isn't it? My main issue with French routes is that trains already end at maybe 11 o'clock. Oh what, they're not, they're not like 24 hours. I would be happy for a GWR uh, whole class. Whole class? What, what's, what's a whole class? I hope they do the Portsmouth, Portsmouth direct line to, TS, to into TSW. Would that be the one that's uh, at South Western Railway, isn't it? Czech, Czech Republic would also be nice to see. Yeah, I can imagine that would be quite nice to see, actually. Very nice parts of the world, world them, aren't they? All right, once I stop to this stop, I need to go to the toilet. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold on to Hempstead, but because I'm rolling at 15 mile an hour, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's not very good. So I'm going to very quickly run to the toilet, and then uh, we'll see, and then we'll carry on back down to Hempstead. Right, I'll be back in a second, chat amongst yourselves.
Hello, I'm back. Oh, I feel much better. <laughs> I feel much better after that. Poland could work too, but obviously Simrail is just Poland at the minute and that's PC only. What's the, uh, what's the operator in Poland? Skibbity toilet, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I wish we can have the class 373 and the 374. See, I see a lot of memes to do with that. I know I personally think that'd be a terrible idea. <laughs> you you wouldn't be able to run them. Like, they if they don't call anywhere. In, they used to call it Ashford International, but they don't anymore. And the only reason you'd have a 373 and a 374 is to literally go, what? One stop, one station, albeit 50 miles apart, but I, I don't see the point. Richie, I have an Xbox Series S, but I don't use it much for certain reasons, and most of my TSW4 routes are on, it, are on Xbox One. And it's about the same as PS4, and they don't run that good. Uh, PS, PS5 is where it's at. PS, for, the, for, the, for the small amount of routes that you own, PS5, the jump to PS5 is a solid shout. PKP, for the most part, I believe that's their, their name, I'm not sure. PKP. Is that, like, is there one of them P's stand for Poland? Right, here we are, coming into Hempstead now. So what are people thinking about the, uh, about Long Island Railroad 2.0? Who's getting it? In Wales, there's a train station with a very long town name that can't be pronounced. It can be pronounced. It's Slambaya Poskwinge Kogerachundo Slantasili or Gogogoch. Yeah. Um, my station connects with Southern Thameslink and Southeastern. That runs at night. Ah, yeah. Polish State, Ra sta Polish State Railways, it would be called if you translated it. Ah, makes sense. I'm reluctant to PS5 because all my progress will be lost. Yeah, but if you make the jump now <clears throat> to PS5, then you can make up that progress. I mean, what's what what's what's better? A better performing route, a better performing game for five years, or building up progress on something that doesn't run very well? Also, because it will run faster, you technically will build up the pro progress quicker as well. I'm not getting it. I'm, again, out of my TSW4 phase. Fair enough. Yeah, wait for it to go on sale. Not sure. I don't own the original Long Island Rail Railroad, so it might be worth it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, if you don't already own it, certainly get it. This, so we'll do a quick, tell you what, return to free roam. So, in the original version, right, which is 25 quid, you get one, you get one train, which is the M7, which is what we were driving earlier. You get all this, right, and you get, you get quite a bit, it's quite a good bit of network. So you've obviously got New York Penn here, it comes around, you've got Sunnyside Yard here, which you have in New York Trenton, you've got Woodside down here, you've got Jamaica. This is a key, key hub. This is like where all the trains will go over the Port Washington branch, which then goes up here. You've got Atlantic Terminal down here, where quite a few services go down. You've also got Long Island City here, which is quite a cool looking station. And then eventually we'll have the branch going down here. Uh, you've got the Belmont Park branch, which has about two services a day. In fact, we'll have a look at the Belmont Park branch in a second. Um, and then you've got the Hempstead branch, which is down to here. Uh, I don't know where else, where else does it actually go? Hold on, let me have a look. Let me have a quick ganders at this. I've got the, uh, I have got the route map saved on my, my computer. Let me get it, one second. I'm going to railroad 2.0. So yeah, we've got... And we've got the, obviously the main line, which has quite a few stations on it. 
and then it splits off down here um and then we get in so the new route does spur off this way and then you've got some stations down here and then there's st albans on here which uh i think would be around about here which we're also getting so we're getting essentially two new branches which is quite cool um and we're getting how many stations one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven new stations um so we've got how many stations in total uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 stations we're getting, um, which is pretty darn good if you ask me. Um, and then you also get two trains with it, the M M7 and the M9. Um, yeah, for, for if you've not owned it before, and you get 37 stations, 57 miles worth of route, and two and two trains, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Right, <clears throat> let's jump in a service at uh, Belmont Park, and then that'll probably be the last service of the evening. Um, I typed it so much, my mobile device would would just fill it in for me, but I always type it myself. There are also some DB Regio Nord routes that run into Pe Poland. Oh, okay, so you so you'd be able to get um be able to get some DB stock laid in. This is why I said Belgium or Netherlands because you can get DB stock there as well, can't you? Uh, let's jump back into the M7, do a Belmont service. Belmont. Uh, oh, Chuff. Let's have a look about Belmont. Let's have a look. Belmont Park. There we go. That'll do. That's only to Jamaica. I wanted to go. Well, that's a bit of a that's a bit, a bit of a trek, isn't it? Tell you what, we'll do that one. We'll do a quick run in that one. Southeastern high speed and Glo Glossop are gross for you. Glossop runs really well for me. Glossop ran well on the. Oh, chuff. That's a bit dark, like, isn't it? Uh, maybe, maybe do that at a dif different time. Maybe do a different timed service. Also, waiting to see the next week Austrian route that I can't spell. Semmering Barn. Yeah, like I said, I'm, in, I'm unsure about Semmering Barn. Um, not because I've got anything against Austrian content. I'm just like, I'm also thinking in my mind, I want Five Circle, but I want it to get updated. So if like Five Five Circle gets updated next week, I'd get that. And then Semmering Barn's coming out. And then obviously Long Island Railroad 2.0 is coming out. So it's like, it, it gets expensive rather quick. Um, and yeah, I've, I've not got that much money. <laughs> so... Um, so I'm having to be careful. Here is a station named Cock Fosters. Please don't take away the Fosters away from it. I did see that comment. I ignored it because I thought it was quite silly. <laughs> we can pretty much go straight away now, can't we? Let's charge the brakes. Charge the brakes. The brakes, the brakes, charge the brakes. Right, cool. So this is Belmont Park. Uh, I've noticed that my fingers are on still, but it's fine. This is Belmont Park. I wonder if they'll update any of this. I think this is like a racetrack, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's like a dog racing, uh, a greyhound racing track. Because they'll probably update this, wouldn't they? But. Five mile an hour out of here, that's ridiculous. Right, let me turn headlights on. Cool, lovely stuff. Atlantic Terminal won't have a lot of traffic in 2.0, only the Jamaica to Atlantic Terminal shuttle, West Hampstead trains, 
um, and from the other branches only during rush hours. Oh, I want to see, right, okay. So the route, so the, the amount of services that we already have in this in this version will will be kept. Northern Trans Pennine is a lovely route. It is a lovely, lovely route. The new Austrian Austrian should have a new train instead of a Reskin Taurus and IC coaches. Well, it's 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 accurate, isn't it? And to be fair, right, you'll only have the 182 if you have rapid transit. Or, um, whatchamacallit, yeah, I think you'd only get the 182 if you've got rapid transit. So if you don't have rapid transit, you're essentially getting a TLC for free, and the, the loco TLC for free. I think it will be a bit longer on the five update, but yeah, it can get expensive faster, 30 quid a DLC. Yeah, so that's that's the thing, I'm not too sure, because like, Semmering Burn might come, you know, it comes out next week, and in the week after, let's say, Five Circle got updated, and in the week after that, we got Long Island Railroad 2.0, it's just all, it all adds up <laughs> stupidly quick. Just had a look at the Dutch and Belgian border with Germany and most crossings except for two are run by private operators. Ah, I see. I need more TSW4 routes. Uh, Richie, did you know that I got cross city line and my, uh, and the southeastern high speed superstar pack for my birthday? Hey, nice one. Birmingham cross city, solid route, which is what we'll be streaming on next week. Um, it has d just dawned on me whilst I've been streaming that I don't actually know when I'll be able to stream next weekend. Um, it all very much depends on what time I get back because I'm out all day on Sunday um, so and I don't think I'm free on the Saturday either so might have to miss next might have to skip next week's stream but I'll find out what's happening and update you throughout the week oh wait no sorry Atlantic Terminal will have more trains forgot the time frame of the route is still pre-Grand Central yeah yeah, so it's it's still era specific. This is ridiculous. Why is it so, such a long? Why is it taking so long? Why is it five mile an hour for this this amount of time? It's a bit daft, isn't it? The Holiday Express Runaway Elf should have been a free DLC. I think they should have just not bothered. <laughs> Personally, with the. Uh, with the Holiday Express, just because it's it just wastes development developers time. Hello, Non, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. I want more TSW four routes, but they're far too pricey. Yeah, I mean, if there aren't, you know, I tell you what. Hold on. If any of you are PlayStation users, there are some some on sale. Hold on, let's have a look. PlayStation Store. Have a look what's on sale on the PlayStation Store. For Train Sim World, anyway. View all. Uh, sort and filter, put them into. Sort A to Z. In fact, no, do Z to A, because see tra Train Sim World stuff quicker, can't we? Oh, poop. Didn't want to do that. I'm aware that I'm speeding. Um, I'm just trying to find these darn things. Oh, WRC Generations is on sale. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not too shabby, if you ask me. Right, get up to 30 now. Right, full speed, full speed ahead. Oh, here we go. Right, so we have a look at. So on sale right now, you've got. Oh, you've got transport fever. Oh, that's a shout. 
the game I've had my eye on. Peninsula Corridor is a tenner. Horseshoe Curve is 12 quid. Uh, the 187 is a fiver. Uh, Oakville Subdivision is 5 quid. The Steam Rail Tour, the West Coast Main Lot, West Coast Main Lot, the West Cornwall is 379. Uh, Sherman Hill is £12.49. And that's it. Midland Main Line is 35% off, and that's uh, £19.49. That's a good route to get if you've not got a. Uh, not got that yet. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I thought there was more than that, but yeah, that's what's on sale at the minute. I think Blackpool was on sale, I don't think it is anymore. I drove the ACS 64 in Long Island Railroad. It'd be good if you could, I think you'll be able to do that in the new version. At least see it as AI. Are there any Xbox sales? Uh, let's have a look. Xbox Store. Look at Train Sim, Train Sim World. It's loading. It's a bit nicer that they do it that way. Uh, no, I don't believe there is. No, there's not. There is not, unfortunately. They should have just had a holiday slash Christmassy theme on a specific route. Yeah, I feel like it just wastes. It's with the amount of like problems with some routes in the game. I feel like that sort of time could have been dedicated a bit more to other routes. Yeah, I'm going way too fast here. Hold on, way nearly. Hold on, slow down a bit. Slow down a tad. Go on, calm down. Calm down now. I'm looking forward to the Japanese route. Yes. Gosh, I forgot about that. The T Tadami line. I think that's really far away. I think, I think that's going to be at least another six months before we see that. This will be cool. Eh, what? Is that a... Is that what I think it is? Ah, oh, to be f you know what? From a glance, that looked really, that looked like um, a Harlem line M3. Have you watched Balto? No, I've never heard of it. Why does Xbox barely ever get sales, and why, why, and we got the spring update two days later than everyone else? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure to be honest. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's just how Microsoft work. It's because of Microsoft. Ah, oh, there you go. Doctor's doing for some parent applied to bus. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I was too busy going parent applied to bus. That's disappointing. What a way to what a, what a way to end that service. It's cra It's crazy because the army line will take about four hours. What is it? The full line? No, it's not. Surely. I thought it was like a, se a section of it. Is that, is that is it like a full four hour line? That's nuts. How many miles is it? I'll tell you what we are doing. We're going to do something very quickly. Can, is there any Long Island City services? How'd you get to there? I want to like showcase all the route if I can. How'd you get to Long Island City? Okay, you can't do it there. Is there any Long Island City services? There should be. Richie, how many DLCs do you own? Yeah, go to them. Let's sort them. Right, we'll go through all my DLCs very quick. We've got obviously Long Island Railroad, 
Bremen Oldenburg, Birmingham Cross City, Cajon Pass, Boston Sprinter, Blackpool Branches, Cathcart Circle, East Coast Way, Edinburgh Glasgow, Harlem Line, Great Western Express, Glossop Line, Hamburg Lubeck, uh, Munich Augsburg, Ryan uh, I also have Ryan Ruhr Austin, uh, and Rose Ignored, Isle of Wight, Isle of Wight 2020, Linker Ryan Strecker, London Commuter, Gospel Oak Tobacco in Riverside, Bakerloo Line, Luzerne, Sersey, just a couple, Main Spessart Barn, Main Talban, Midland Main Line, New York, Trenton, Nidder Talban, Northern Trans Pennine, Peak Forest, Peninsula Corridor, <laughs> Schnellfast Strecker Colne, Schnellfast Strecker Castle Versberg, Sherman Hill, South Eastern High Speed, Spirit of Steam, Tees Valley Line, Taranda Ramper, West Cornwall Local, West Somerset Railway, Antelope Valley Line, East Coast Main Line, Neverka Dresden, and S Bahn for Alberg. <laughs> Just a couple. Just a couple of them. Tell you what, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a Port Washington service, and then I'm going to call it there. Because I need to get on with some stuff. You can't only in a scenario. Ah, oh, damn. You have like triple the amount of DLC. I have. I only have nine DLC. I can't go out the game and find out because I've got some others that I've not downloaded. But I think in total, I've got. Just yeah, open the right side there. I think I've got something like forty routes. Something stupid like that. I've got a lot. I've got a lot of it. I've spent a lot of money on this game. But I have had it for four or five years. I love how the game displays all routes as new except for the base DLCs. I don't get why why it does that. It's always it's always been quite strange to me as well why the, why it's done that. Well, we need to just know how many loco DLCs you've got. I tell you what, remind me. Remind me after this service. I'll have a look. I'll go through all the locos I've got because that'll tell you what loco DLCs I've got. We'll count how many trains and how many routes I've got. Can we not go yet? Oh, no, we can't. I'm hoping that we uh, we get a busier New York pen in the Long Island Railroad 2.0. I hope it's not too busy though, in the sense that like you know how it runs on New York Trenton. I hope it's a bit you know a bit better optimized, and hopefully they upgrade this this the what you call it the uh, the actual uh, station lighting and stuff. Hopefully, anyway. This will be their what fourth time of doing New York Penn, so hopefully it's a good, a good iteration of it. Go up here as well. Uh, oh, oh dear. Um, I don't think you meant to do that, but uh, sure. Here we are. Okay, that's fine. This is okay. This is fine. And uh okay oh, alright, okay. Sure. Alright. <laughs> Train glitch world. Oh dear. Anyway, back to Terra Firma. It's not a cursed train, I'm not joking. What's that, sorry? Can you please search Balto the hybrid streamlined engine? Let's have a look. Let's have a gander for you. Malto, the streamlined train. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. The Alaskan train. It's an interesting train, isn't it? 
They should only include full Amtrak services and some NJ NJT services on Long Island Railroad 2.0 as AI at Penn. Do you reckon? Do you reckon that, do you know the original New York Trenton timetable? They built that as AI for. Um, that was going to be the AI for. Um, for the for Long Island Railroad 2.0, but then obviously they probably had the licensing issue for however, however long. Richie, I'm very jealous of you because I only have nine DLC. Um, you shouldn't be jealous of me. I've I've just I've had the game for a, a longer time than you, I think. So I've I've obviously built I've just naturally built it up as as more and more stuffs come out. Um, you know, if I would have bought Five Circle, um, Bandstrucker. Whatever it was, Bandstrucker, Rosenheim, Salzburg, I'd have a couple more routes as well. Uh, I do find it weird why Dovetail have a fake and fleets for this route for the this route scenarios. Does it? Do you reckon we'll see the switcher back as well? In this uh, in this route, because um, I know it doesn't actually. It's not on this version of the route, but the switch would make sense to be in this route, surely, wouldn't it? Right, let's go. Let's try not to spad this time. Uh, sorry, I haven't been talking. I've been busy with some other stuff. No worries, mate. Honestly, I, I, I appreciate your you being here, whether you chat or not. Yeah, I wanted New York. Uh, a user wanted New York Trenton uh, and Long Island Railroad to be merged. Imagine how laggy that would be, though. That'd be insane. Back again. I just joined your di Discord. Um, uh, oh yeah, back again. I just joined your Discord. Uh, I'm Steiner UK. I did see that you joined. I did, I've uh, I've put you into your role. I got trained in World Free for the first time last year in August and built it up, built up my roots. You've done all right to build up the roots, though, considering you only got trained in World Free. I find, it uh, quite, I find it quite insulting how they repricing long long on the railroads to thirty quid, and it's just been upgraded uh, upgraded version like they have done with Southeastern High Speed and West Somerset Railway. I think the thing is, though, it's 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 more worthy of an upgrade because as in like it's more worthy if it's priced because you get in a new, you get in essentially a new train and you're also getting another what 12 15 miles of track so in essence and also you think about it that like people that would be new to that would don't have long island railroad it's you know a worthy update it's a bit of a shame that us console players aren't getting at least 10 percent off it would have been nice but uh, what can you do? The worst case scenario is that you just wait a couple of months and it goes on sale. Richie, I focus on UK routes and I'm not too interested in foreign routes. Yeah, yeah, well, Midland Main Line's a good one to get. Uh, Quaz, I can see, uh, I'm sorry I'm in the live, but for some reason I can't type. I have just in your message in the Discord. I don't know why you can't type. That's weird. It's You should be able to type. But I appreciate you being there uh, nonetheless. <laughs> oh, we're speeding a bit. I've just looked at the stream stats as well as we're going through the tunnel. We've got 18 likes. That's absolutely mad. Thank you very much, everyone, for liking and coming into the stream. Um, can we get to 20? That would be uh, even even more massively appreciated. Again, if anyone anyone that's in hasn't joined the Discord server yet, feel free to join. I will be chatting in there afterwards uh, after we've done this short service because I need to make myself some dinner. I'm absolutely ravenous. Um, so I think I'm going to make myself maybe a sandwich or something. Nothing, nothing too, too intense. Um, and I'm also going to be editing a video for ne for the next week as well. Uh, I've got some got some stuff, some interesting stuff coming out in the week. In TSW there is a route that has an undrivable tram. There's technically two now, isn't there? There's three even. So you've got five circle Edinburgh to Glasgow with the Edinburgh trams. And then you've also got um, 
You've also got Antelope Valley with the LA trams as well. If there's any others. Oh, technically there's Rome or Austin as well, which has um, the Wuppertal upside down train as well. Uh, Balto has a, a wolf dog face. Yeah, I know, I saw. Right, we're coming close to the end of the tunnel. So yeah, as you come out of this tunnel, uh, you go under Long Island City and uh, Hunters Point Avenue, I think. So I'm assuming they'd actually get services in um, in the updated version. Honestly, I'd really like to go to Prague and at some point and ride their trams, especially the, their Tatra T3. I looked at going to Prague last year, actually. Because uh, it's a quite a rel it's a relatively cheap place to go to, um, if you uh, if you want to just like a nice city break. I've got to go now. Catch you later, train boy. We'll catch you in the Discord over the next couple of days. Um, I'm going to be coming. Up. I'm going to be ending the stream very shortly as well. Anyway, I got trains in Ward Three, uh, South Eastern High Speed, and Cross City Line last year to start, and then I got TSW Four base routes, and then I got. Uh, Glossop Line and Blackpool Branches um, Cathcart and London Commuter yeah well um, like I said it was a, it, that's a solid collection of routes uh, I need to slow down a bit as well what would you what would you have all preferred to see in Long Island Railway 2.0 which branch Port Washington maybe the Babylon branch do you think the Long Beach branch is a good shout I personally think it's quite a good idea to be fair And do you reckon we could see? Oh, is a shout. There is a there is an unnamed U.S. loco. That well, it was on the on, was on the roadmap. Do you reckon we could see the uh, the diesel one that runs on this route as well? Somehow in the late 2000s, a study showed that a study showed a 98.9 percent reliability, and they're like probably 50 years old. That's incredible. It's like there's 1972 stock in it. They're like 50 odd years old now, but they're still solid. I don't mind Long Beach. Would have maybe preferred Far Rockaway. Yeah. I don't know whereabouts that would go to. Um, I do need to look into the actual map because I'm, I'm going to be doing that expectation video for it next week uh, or the week after even because we get the preview for it because it comes out what two weeks two and a half weeks something like that I think yeah it comes out two weeks Tuesday I'm quite excited for it oh Dr. Beechin oh Dr. Beechin yes that's swine what are your opinions on this being the last day of fully free to freeze running in the cross city line? I didn't realise today was the last day and that's very upsetting. Um, it's a shame to see them go. As they're not really that old. What, they're about 30 years old now? So I feel like, you know, they've still got plenty of time. I'm assuming they'd be transferred up to Northern now. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a shame to see them go. But at the same time, you know progress is progress I would like to get on one before uh, before they're scrapped definitely or not scrapped even there uh, withdrawn from service on the uh, Birmingham Cross City line do you think that steam trains with animal faces is strange yes I do <laughs> right here we go coming to a stop now cool right so there we go so that has been tonight's live stream on the Long Island Railroad. So thank you everyone for coming in. Um, next week, over the, over the next week, I've got a video first look at the Formation Designer, which is coming out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, 7.30 start and free to, two threes continue getting fade out. Uh, two units a week being transferred to Northern and eventually the last three two three will be three two three uh, two three one retiring in July. So I've got until July to ride one. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone, everyone for coming in. Like I said, tomorrow we've got a first look at the formation designer, which is a good bit of fun. Um, there's a bit of chaos with an ACS64 and a Vectron. Um, 
I've also got a train spotting video coming out in a week. I'm trying something out, trying something a little bit different out. I'm going to be doing um, like a compilation of some train spotting clips I got throughout the last month. So if that sounds interesting to you, that's coming out next week. And then next weekend, I will keep you updated because uh, I am quite busy next weekend um, about a stream. So I'm not too sure when it's going to be. Uh, but if I do end up streaming next weekend, it will be on the Birmingham Cross City line, unless the Five Circle gets updated. So uh, keep an eye out on my socials. If you've not joined the Discord, the link is up there. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming in and watching the stream. I massively appreciate everyone coming in, liking the new subscribers. That are, I think we've got one new subscriber today, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you for the new person that joined today. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the Discord and in the on in the next stream and whatever else. So yeah. And obviously Long Island Railroad 2.0 is coming out in two and a half weeks' time. So, yeah, very exciting stuff coming up in Trains in World 4. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening and week next week. So, bye-bye, everyone.